So Bungo just dropped a trailer for Season of Opulence, which is dropping next week. Let's check it out. A new mystery awaits you, Guardian. Welcome to the Season of Opulence. What will you find in the Emperor's Lost Vaults? Treasure hunts will lead you to powerful weapons and armor. These will quickly boost your power level and prepare you for the menagerie. This season's all-new six-player match-made activity. Grow strong, Guardian. Prove your worth. So we end up seeing a few exotics coming back. Some obvious, not so much. Let's start off with the obvious. Truth is coming back, boys. Hide your kids, hide your wife, because if it's as aggressive as it was in Destiny 1, a lot of unsuspecting D D2 players will have a lot of salt to share with the rest of the class. Jokes aside, this coming back will be relentless in PvP. In PvE, not so much. I never really used it. I never really used Truth for PvE. It was always either Galahorn or something else. Second exotic will be Kepri Sting, a year one exotic. I'm really excited, even though I've always hated how this exotic looks. It's literally just a bug on my arm, bro. But I am excited for it because if, and that's the fattest if, but if they bring it back with Touch of Venom perk intact, then we will return to crouching until you go in biz. Not only that, but attacking an enemy from behind with melee and invisible delivers four times damage. So that's dope too. I personally think it won't come back to us in its original form, but a lesser of its f former self, like the other exotics we have. A prime example being Sealed of Hamkara Grasps. Third exotic will be Astrocyte Burst, which is from the Rise of Iron DLC. Not gonna lie, not really all that hype up for this one, only because I really didn't play my Warlock in Destiny 1. Hell, I barely play her in Destiny 2 as well, but I still want them for the transmog alone. So the exotic perk on it is Move to Survive, which temporarily increases the recovery on Blink, which sounds really nice, especially if you already have high recovery. But like I said, I want this just for the looks, baby. Just for the looks. Fourth exotic will be Paragon Greaves, another year one exotic. This one's perk is Paragon Strike, which give, which makes your shoulder charge deal bonus damage if activated in the air. Let me ask you guys a question. Have you ever been killed out of your super by a Titan shoulder charge? Yeah? We'll expect that to happen with supers that have higher armor as well. This was nasty in Destiny 1, and seeing how stupid shoulder charges are in Destiny 2, this will make them even just that much more stupid. <clears throat> I do wonder though, if this affects the middle tree in arc, because that one's only, uh, that melee is only doable in air. And if it does, that one's gonna be really nasty because it'll be able to one-shot people. Ugh. So the next pieces are photos that Bungo will release with the trailer. Let's start off with a potential fifth exotic that we might up, end up getting, which is the long rumored Rose. I'm not gonna lie. All I know about is that it's related to the thorn. I do think this ha has a good chance of being the Rose. If you see the bottom of the grip, it does look like a flower that's not yet grown. And you could see some yellow thorns coming out of the barrel. It would be awesome if this were to be it, but we'll see, hopefully, it would be nice, like really nice to have this gun out because this has been removed since Destiny 1. Let's see what the pinnacle weapons will be. First one is Hush, which is a gambit pinnacle weapon and it's a bow. Huh. Okay, so a hip fire precision shot gives back a massive draw speed bonus. Not gonna lie, disappointing, especially compared to the breakneck and delirium 21%. Hopefully it will be in the energy slot so we can use all our gambit weapons, but uh, if this is hard to get, I'm probably not going to get it for anytime soon. Second pinnacle weapon is Wendigo GL3, which is a vanguard weapon, and its perk is when orbs of light are picked up, 
it increases blast radius and damage. I assume the perk activates on pickup because if it's every time someone makes orbs of light, then that would be hectic. Fun, but hectic. And this one should be in the heavy slot, but it would be nice to see it on the energy or primary slot, but I highly doubt it. <clears throat> and the last one is Crucible. Let's see what their pinnacle weapon is. Revoker. When you miss your shots, they get returned to the magazine after a short duration. I think this is a great idea, especially for those that want to get better at sniping. And it'll be nice having mulligan that activates all the time, which is basically what this is. Uh, I don't think this is broken by any means. It's literally, you miss your shots, you get your shot back. It's not like Icebreaker where you just get your shots unlimited. You like, you have, you had unlimited ammo with Icebreaker. So I think this is, this is fine. This is going to be really cool. The last picture is some gear we'll be getting for the new, for the raid and maybe new game mode, which is called the Menagerie. I'm not gonna lie, this is all, and I mean all of these are just recolors with the minimal design. The Hunter's Helmet on the top middle is Jackknife 3.2 from Destiny 1. Bottom is the A.S. Luna hand cannon from Destiny 1. Some are obvious and some maybe are new, but it's just disappointing when the bulk of this DLC is just shit I've already seen. No new exotics aside from maybe Rose, and that's been rumored since Destiny 1. So again, nothing new. Overall, I'm excited more for the new content than the gear itself which is kind of fucked i think the only thing i'm excited about is the iron banner which hopefully they come with some dope shit from the picture that i saw it looked like rise of iron armor hopefully that's true because that's the best armor but we'll see solstice of heroes is coming too i played the shit out of it in de in like year one destiny i think it was year one destiny 2 or not year one when, whenever it came out for, for Destiny 2, I played the shit out of it. I got, ended up getting all the armor for all my all my classes, and I ended up do, doing a fourth one for my friend. It was really gross. I played a lot of that. And I'm probably excited for the new game mode, even though I'm 75% sure that it's just going to be give you reskinned armor and weapons. I'm... I, I don't I, I honestly don't know how to feel about this it's just it kind of hurts we'll see next week because it just dropped next week hopefully all this shit is just like blown away and I, it's actually amazing but let me know what you guys are thinking about the new season of opulence you excited you mad do you even still play i want to know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later